Hello everyone. Welcome to day one of the holiday card series for 2023. I just counted down in the video description what year number this is. And this is 15. No way. I've been doing this for 15 years, which is crazy. So usually on day one, I do, um, I reminisce a bit. So here's my little reminiscent spiel. Um, when I first started the holiday card series back in 2009, it doesn't make sense that I'd be on 15. Anyway, I counted it. Um, anyway, so when I started in 2009, the original thought was I was going to have 25 card videos Monday through Friday for five weeks. And I actually did it. And what's even more amazing to me now is I was working full time at Basic Gray at the time. And I also filmed everything, all 25 videos, before I even started sharing the first one. What? Like nowadays, I could not do that. There is no way I could do it. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my new sweater for the occasion tonight. Um, I mean, I know tomorrow is Halloween. And I didn't do very many ha Halloween cards this year. I think I only did maybe like two, but um, here we are. We're jumping straight ahead into Christmas and the holidays. And it's mostly because I've timed it so that um, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, all the way leading up to Christmas day, Christmas day will be day 25, which is kind of exciting for this year. So um, I think that's the only bit of housekeeping I needed to let you guys know about. So Let's switch to the overhead and start in for the card cards. That's a hint for day one. All right. So hello. Hello, everyone. Okay. So the um, inspiration for the couple of cards I'm going to be making tonight actually comes from the Fresh Air Holiday Tree stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. This is a stamp set that I designed. And so I'm going to be creating a couple of cards that I mocked up and kind of worked with when I was illustrating and designing this stamp set. So this is kind of like what I had in my head when I was designing it. So I'm actually going to be using the stamps in two ways today, um, with the dies and without. And you'll see how um, when you use them, use the stamps with dies, you have to cut first and then do your stamping because otherwise, well, you'll see here when we get going. Okay, so let's start with the one that's a little bit more free form. Um, we don't have to worry about anything too precise. So I've done a little pre-planning and this card is going to be A2 size. I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. We're not gonna need that. I've got some masking paper here and I want to have the tree like right in the center and then kind of like a little sloped line in the background and everything above that kind of horizon line will be stenciled in just for a little bit of a background. So because I want, um, let's see, I'm just gonna go ahead and, <laughs> I'm just gonna make like a little sloped line I'm just using like the curve of my, like my wrist when it goes like this, just to get a nice curved line. So I'll just go ahead and cut this little horizon line. And this is just so that I can have some stuff stenciled up at the top. Okay. So now I'm just going to peel this up. And then I can put it down onto my card front. Now I want it, pro I've, you know, I'm going to have to stamp my greeting at the bottom too. So I'm thinking like maybe about right there would be good. And I'm going to get a stencil mat so I can do some blending. This is just one of the sticky mats from the Misty. All right, I'll put that down. And then I've got a couple stencils, um, that I'm gonna be using tonight. I think I'm gonna use this, this one, it's called Square Dance. I just wanted something really geometric and it's going to stick to that sticky mat, which is nice. And then I'm going to use a light gray ink. I want the, um, I'm going to be stamping the tree on top, so I don't wanna put down a super, super 
intense ink because that would really alter the color of the tree. So I'm just gonna use the color Fog from Simus Stamp. It's a really, really pale gray. So I'm gonna get my brush ready. A2 curved edge die, yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in. I'm trying to keep this fairly light. I'm going to do a layer of the design and then I'm going to go over it and add just a little bit of gray over top so that I have that distinctive curved line down at the bottom. You'd think that I'd be over my cough that I had. Okay, so there's our gray. And now without removing the mask, I'm gonna come back in and just add a little bit of that gray down here at the bottom. And I'm also going to kind of add that gray going all the way across. Now I'm blending directly onto my card base. And I didn't even make sure that the fold was on the right side. We're good, it's over there. <laughs> if it was gonna be on the wrong side, it would've been, ooh, yikes. I would have to cut it apart and then glue it. So I'm going to remove my masking paper. Just really carefully. That was masking paper from Simon Says Stamp, by the way. And then I've got my card friend. I'm just gonna leave this on the sticky mat while I do all of my stamping, might as well. The tree on the stamp set, right here, it has three different layers to stamp. Now on the packaging itself, it has a little guide. So you know that like which image to start with and there's also little uh, numbers right next to it. So we're going to be stamping the trees in this exact fashion. We'll start with the very sparse image as the lightest green. We'll go to the one that's the fullest for the medium green. And then the one that's just kind of in between will be our darkest green. All right, so the one that's the most sparse is this one up here. And we want this to be kind of near the top, but we want room to put a star up there too. So I'm just gonna stamp it right here. Now, you'll notice with this particular stamp set and the way that I'm using it now, it's very forgiving. You don't have to have it, um, you know, precisely, what's the word, positioned for each one of these layers. It's really, really forgiving. That color I just used was Sprout. This is why, since I do have that gray in the background. Stamp that down. All right, that shows up a whole lot better now. One that's very, very filled in, this one right here, and I'm gonna use my medium green. A little fuzz on my stamp, there we go. So I'm gonna kind of line up that same kind of center line. But I mean, like I said, this is very forgiving, especially for a Christmas tree stamp like this. All right, so the next color I'm using is Perfection from Simus' Stamp. This is a little bit of a darker green. And I'll stamp this one twice as well. I can tell that since this is a brand new stamp, my colors are like beating up on it a little bit. And then I think what really makes the tree look finished is when you stamp the darkest green. So I've picked out pine, just about like that. And then I'm using pine. And I really think that, you know, once you add on the darkest green, it really pulls the tree together. See, doesn't that look so great? And you can't, like the gray in the background, it doesn't even bother me. Even though I still can see that line right through the center of the tree. No problem at all. Okay. So the dark green really pulls it all together. And I am planning to add a few little details onto the tree, but I need to let it dry first because this ink is super, super wet. So I'm actually going to stamp my greeting and then we're gonna set this aside. 
because I'm going to be doing um, heat embossing on top. So I'm just going to let the ink dry as much as possible. And then I'll come back and finish it after we're done with the other card, which also has embossing on it. So they're both probably going to have to get a heat tool anyway. All right, for the greeting, I'm using Lipstick Red from Sime Assistant. This is just like a really good red for stamping greetings. All right, and I'm gonna stamp that twice so it's nice and crisp. Okay. And these colors actually, as they dry, they will kind of lighten and fade back a little bit. They, if you want to use the die cuts, the coordinating dies, this is the way you're gonna to wanna to do your tree. Um, as you can see, if I was to take the, the die and go over this, it's not gonna line up, well, actually it's not so bad, but it's not gonna line up perfectly because I was just stamping on top and I wasn't paying attention to where everything was placed. So in order to get your image perfectly onto the die cut, you're going to die cut it first and then you're going to do your stamping. So I actually die cut this tree twice, um, just in case I messed up one. <laughs> but um, so I'm just gonna puzzle piece that right inside. Actually, before I do that, just because I used these stamps before and they might not be completely clean, I'm gonna go ahead and um, position the stamps within my little template here that I've cut out of red cardstock. I'm gonna go ahead and get them in position first. Oh yes, Function of Light One just mentioned that I have links to all of the day one videos from the previous 14 years of the Holly Card Series. They are down below in the video description. Okay. Once again, this is perfection. So this is the medium green. And then I'm gonna go on to that third and final color. And this is where we get the very top of the tree. And I'm gonna to switch to the final color, which is pine. Both of these cards are coming together so, so, so quickly. I get a really solid coverage of ink. This stamp set is called Fresh Air Holiday Tree. I just asked someone in the comments ask that. It's from Simus's Stamp, and this is a stamp set that I illustrated and designed um, that just came out like about a month ago, I think. So cute, love it so much. Now I'm gonna be adding some details onto both of these trees. You've got, um, this could be snow or it could be like lights on a Christmas tree. And then we've got kind of like this draped garland. I'm gonna be using both, uh, you know, lights on one tree, garland on another. But I need both of these to dry completely before I add them because I'm going to be adding them in white embossing powder. So I'm gonna set both of those aside. And I'm going to work on a stenciled background for the second card. So the second card is actually going to be five by seven. So I've got a five by seven card base right here. And I want the, I want like a pretty generous border around the outside and then the stenciling on the inside of that. So I'm going to be using my A7 masks from Simon Says Stamp. And you can kind of see there's like a little line. Well, maybe you can see it. There's a line for where your card should be. This is about, it's about three quarters of an inch. And I'm just gonna get that centered and it will hold it in place while I do all my blending. The stencil I'm gonna be using with this one, I'm going to be using the Flower Burst Stencil from Picket Fence. All right, so the colors for this one, I'm going to be using uh, lipstick red and Merlot. I've never, I don't think I've ever combined these two together, but my idea is to have it be a lighter red at the top and then it's going to intensify as it comes down to the bottom. On the 
First day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hands, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves And a partridge in a pear tree On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Five golden rings Four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves And a partridge in a pear tree So I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the mat. You always want to peel back the mat, not your cardstock, and then it makes it so your cardstock remains nice and crisp. Okay, so these need to be super, super, super dry before we do anything. Before I try to stamp on them again and heat emboss, I'm going to do my greeting for this second card. And it's going to be a separate greeting. Um, stamped and die cut, and I thought I would use the Christmas Blessings stamp set. I'm actually going to stamp this twice. It's got some really small words up at the top that say warm Christmas. And so I don't want to press down too hard on the stamp when I stamp it. I'm just gonna let it kind of kiss the surface of the paper. I only have one die that's separated from all the rest right here. <laughs> the Christmas blessings one that I need. And then the trees stamps also have coordinating dies right here. So I've got the little star. Let's run this through my Anna Griffin mini empress. So I'm just going to preemptively and I'm just going to hit it with my heat tool. Just dry it. I don't care if it sticks to the gray background. I just don't want it sticking to the tree because I can brush off any of the stuff that's on the background. Okay, that's dry too. We're good to go. I'm going to take a clean paintbrush and just brush these off really, really well to make sure I get all of that embossing powder off that might be sticking around. And then it's just going to be draped right across, just like that. Also very forgiving. It doesn't have to be lined up correct, like, you know, precisely. Use my anti-static powder tool just to help me make sure I have a good result from that. And then I'll ink this up with Versa, Versa Fine ink, not Versa Fine, Versa Mark ink. Let's make sure I rub my fingers over each one of those. Ah, oh, I love that dainty little scalloped edge. Little star stamp right on the top. And then stamp the star right over the top of that tree. And then I'm going to switch to the gold embossing powder. that gold embossing powder right on top. I'm gonna to kinda of just let it sit. You guys notice that sometimes if you let the powder sit on top of your embossing ink a little bit longer, sometimes it has a little bit of a better stick to it. All right, so now we have that gold star up there and that actually finishes that card. And stamp our little dots while I sprinkle on that white embossing powder. Like I did with the other one, I'm going to let it kind of sit a little bit and then tap off the excess. I think it'd be fun to add like little red gems as like ornaments on the tree too. I think that'd be really cute. And the star and the greeting. All right, 
So this is going to go right here. I'm think, keeping in mind that star is going to be on top. Let's put that right over the top right there. And just, oh, don't drop him. Let's put that right over the top there. I love that. I almost want to put like, um, just like a thin frame of gold around that. I think that'd be really, really pretty. And so there's the A7 thin frames dies from Simon Says Stamp. Okay. So this is the A7 thin frames dies. And I just have to pick the right one, the right size. Oh, that's going to be the perfect size. That's great. From Simon Says Stamp. Okay. It was going to work for just a minute there and then it didn't. Okay. Yeah, it's better just to put it down a little bit at a time. Finishes it off. Just that little bit of gold. Love that. So here are both cards for day one of the holiday card series. Ta-da! <laughs> we're all, we're all done. Okay, so I'm going to, okay, I'll just be in the top corner to say goodbye. Um, thanks so much for joining me tonight for day one of the holiday card series for 2023. Can't believe we're already here. Um, holidays are upon us. Halloween is tomorrow. Yes, I realize, but, um, in my craft room, it is most definitely Christmas. So thanks so much for joining me. Um, down below are links to all of the other day one videos for all the other years of the holiday card series you can go through. Day one is always a special one for me. So I encourage you to go check those out. Thanks so much for joining me today. I will see you guys. Well, I did want to let you guys know that Thursday I'm going to be doing a live in the middle of the afternoon. I think I schedule, I'm going to think I'm going to do it at noon on Thursday and I'm going to be doing mail call for October. So if you want to see all the cards that people submitted for the month of October, I'm going to be opening up the mail and we're going to look at everyone's cards. So come back on Thursday at noon mountain time and you can join me for a live mail call. So thanks so much for joining me. I'll also be back Wednesday with day two of the holiday card series. I haven't filmed it yet, but we'll get there. Um, come back for day two and thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you guys in the next video.